The Washington Post reported that the 1957 Jerry Jones photo reminded us of America's past. To me, there is no past because what happened back then still happens today. I want to bring this matter to the front of the class. Stay with me. Situations like Jerry Jones and Brett Favre get swept under the rug and it affects a lot of us mentally. It shows that we are of course not equal and accountability is not being held for the people with the money and the power. It doesn't really matter how long ago things were because the world today is no different. We as black men are held and always held accountable for anything we do, especially when it comes to affiliations. Psychologically, this matter shows the players, kids, and families that they feel more superior and it doesn't matter what they do and they can't be touched. It leaves coaches and players mentally weak because they know the opportunity to continue to feed their families is on the line if they speak up. That's why I speak for you. It's no different than players being blackballed or cut because of kneeling for Kaepernick. That situation alone taught players to mask and keep their true emotions bottled up. And we all know the NFL wanted to send a message back in 2016, so the mental breakdown of that is saying that you're not allowed to fight for what you stand for and what you believe in, especially if you have no money invested with the organization, which is an enslaved mentality. Again, we are in the present, but history always repeats itself just in different forms. So some people see this photo of Jerry Jones and say it was many years ago. But I say throughout time, history repeats itself and it shows us just who he really is. I'm Marcus Smith II and this is the Circle of M.